So I've been fortunate enough to be around a lot of good players. Um, my hat goes off to Kentucky for two reasons. I think one, uh, you know, when you get all those McDonald All-Americans and you get them to play as hard as they did and share the ball, it says a lot about you as a coach and obviously a program. But you're talking about one of the most storied programs in college basketball. And I, I know it better than most because, uh, you know, my uncle played against Kentucky in the NIT in 1950. So, uh, and my dad played at Duquesne when they were number one in the country. So I know more about the history of Kentucky than most coaches do. So over time, I don't think there's been a better program. And uh, again, I think what Coach Cal does is phenomenal because it's not easy to get young people to play that hard and together. And they did a really good job of that. Thanks, Coach. Now, uh, questions for Coach or student athlete? Raise your hand, we'll get a wireless microphone to you. Coach, how difficult is uh, Xavier Wheeler to, to contain both offensively and then, then to deal with uh, as big of a pest as he is on defense? Well, you know, we knew that, we knew that uh, if we didn't guard the ball, we were going to have problems. We did a poor job guarding the ball, but that's a tribute to him. He, he's a strong, tough little guy that, you know, gets, gets to where he wants to get and then shares the ball. I mean, so that was probably the key to the game. We just didn't guard the ball very well. And then when you don't guard the ball well with all that shooting they have and then the size inside, then you're scrambling, you, you know, you have a hard, you, it's a hard, it's a hard deal. Next. Anyone in the back? Up here. Yep. Coach, you were uh, pretty competitive at the beginning, and then some of the shooting uh, wasn't quite keeping you in the game. But overall, what were your impressions of uh, your team's performance? Um, I think it was too early for us to win the game. You know, we're just not quite ready to play at that caliber yet with all the newness that we have. Uh, you know, you're talking about one of the top five teams in the country. You know, we're just not quite – we just haven't been together long enough to win a game like that. You know, like you have to you have to know when to when to score, you know, when to slow it. You can't get in a, a a running a Kentucky Derby with them, right? They're just too quick and fast and athletic to do that. But you have to pick and choose your spots, and we're just we just weren't quite mature enough for that at that at this point in the season. But overall, look, we competed hard. Uh, you know, when you shoot eight for 32 the first half, that's, that's hard to overcome. But a lot of that is bad shot selection, right? Rush shots, you know, you have to move the ball against them and make them play a lot of defense in order to win. Kind of like when Richmond came in there and won, right? That's how you have to play against them. And then pick and choose your spots to run. Coach, just uh, curious about your thoughts on their, their big man, the young center that uh, seemed to alter uh, a lot of shots there tonight. It's funny because I know a lot of their guys. You know, obviously I'm from Akron, Ohio, so I know Chris. Um, I know a dude, obviously, he's a, from Pittsburgh and uh, uh, Topman because we played against him in Rhode Island and his brother. Um, so they, they've got really good players, but that big guy, he, I had Zeke Marshall, obviously, I had Grant Long who played 15 years in the NBA. That guy's going to make a lot of money. You know, he's the new fangled. That's kind of what those centers in the NBA look like now. You know, run, jump, and then he changes the game. Like, I mean, we told our guys, look, if, if you're not 100% sure, don't shoot it because it's coming back at you. And that's just like a turnover, really. So I hope you keep him a while. It won't be easy. <laughs> thank you. All right, Coach, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. It. Okay, I'll thank you, Tom.